when you get rid of an item. Just a second. I'll be with you right away. I'd like a lot of fortune cookies. Oh, great and almighty Mathulu. Your faithful servant has found you another sacrifice. Moginox aprixitor dobidom padrex. Barador extra cheese. Yes. Yes. Huh, not a bad place. Here I am. Please excuse the delay. Ah, oh, no problem. How can I help you? I like how we never get to see him. Um. What a romantic place. You think so? Oh, yeah. The view, the old town. All that's missing is children at play. Oh, uh, one moment, please. I think he's on to us. He noticed the missing children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, oh Lord of Darkness, sometimes I find you downright scary. Yeah, giant tentacle monster will do that. Here I am again. Anything else I can do for you? So, what have you got? Well, the dinner menu applies for the restaurant. Here at the takeout counter, we mainly serve platypus burgers. Hmm. I hope they're not too greasy. I would hate to ruin my perfect body. Yes. Oh, in that case, I'd better ask. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, great and wise Makulu. <laughs> the sacrifice wishes to know whether our burgers will make him fat. Ravanek cha. Ravanek kap cha. Koror. All natural. Our management would like to assure you that we use nothing but choicest ingredients in our products. And all the essential vitamins are provided by free range lettuce leaves. Just make your choice from the menu. There are three menu options to choose from. Plus, you can modify your choice if you like. It's all explained on the menu. Hmm. So, what's the deal with these fortune cookies? Actually, I'm not really sure myself. Eh, that's no problem. Can I just have a bunch? How does that help fortune cookies? And here I am again. The fortune cookies are free, courtesy of the house. And with a little luck, you may even win a trial membership in the Platypus Club. Hooray. Yeah, can I just... Um... Does, does your dinner menu include anything besides platypus? I just need to check... Uh, please excuse me. Oh, Christ. <laughs> it's taking forever. He's asking about the dinner menu. So what should I tell him? Molesto nime bolidor. Pollux verito. No, sir, I'm sorry. As long as we have a good supply, all our dishes will be made from platypus. Hmm. I'd like to order some takeout. Very well. Just make your choice from the menu. Uh, except we have zero cash, right? Uh, we're gonna have to do some. We're gonna get a certain amount of money from s something. And. Yeah. We're, we're gonna. Do something. Yeah, we're gonna have to order something very specific. Now I want that, and then I basically want that to... Oh, there, there's... I bet there is a way... Oh, god damn it! Just make that go away. So we just get half. Oh, you can't get multiple. 
Hmm. I wonder if you can get, like, Ascent. God, that was not what I wanted. Um, make that go away. Turn that into a drink. Make that go away. Can we just get this? Is this your order? Yes. Why? Well, uh, I mean, the, the way you're dressed and all. No, you're right. Sorry. It's all my fault. Yeah, so basically we need to get, like, Ascent or something. And then we can get two fortune cookies. Huh. They only have dishes made from platypus here. Lady Goal won't like that at all. Yeah, I bet that's pretty much what we have to do. We get like a scent and then we... What, what a skip? Well, no, I don't want to skip that because I need the money in the first place. I'm pretty sure that's what you have to do anyway, so... Um, let's leave... Oh, actually, let's... Order, you know, schedule a uh, little dinner date with Lady. Just a sec. How can I help? I'd like to reserve a table for two. For two? Just a moment. I think there may be a second sacrifice. How shall I proceed? Porto nominem hasur modiner con fuginox. Leomon fa demon in advance. Oh, right. I'll let him know then. Boy, they really know how to treat a customer. Unfortunately, we cannot accept any more reservations for tonight. The only free table is reserved for our regulars. Hmm. Bummer. Uh, as you like. I tried my best, old nameless one. He just wouldn't stand on the trap door. Noctus porem pastifidor. Yes, I also think he'll be back. Great service. Definitely. I really do like the the sound of him running up and down the stairs. Like that that's actually really well done. Right, so we've got a rake. Of course. Ow! Darn death trap. <laughs> yeah, death trap for sure. Um. Yeah. We can't actually get over there, right? Oh, this moves us over over there, and then we end up on the right side. I get it. There's a tree. My botanical tells me that this here is a, a tree a plant great hey hands off the tree okay <laughs> what that wasn't my hands because because I did it with my feet you see here feet boom <laughs> oh come on that was funny <laughs> oh dear. Oh, blah, blah, blah. what happened? And why does my back suddenly feel like somebody scratched the word revenge into it with a rusty rake? Ugh, must be the stress. Or that's exactly what happened. Wait, I didn't want to go there. So I'm not entirely sure what that got us, but um, Bellevue. It's still open, so that's something. Um, nice and relaxing part of town. This I like it. Oh, we actually did move the spade over there. That is helpful, I think. Who looks so ferocious? But of course, it's Hoedown the Garden Gnome. Still seems rude. <laughs> Friends. And there we go oh. again. We're gonna have to do something with that. We're gonna have to do something with that. That's part of a puzzle. Has to be. 
So go in there. Oh, hello. Oh, impressive digs. Yeah. Um, have you ever heard of knocking? Of course, but I find their new album too commercial. What are you doing here? Don't you at least wipe your feet? Not since my eighth birthday. Back then, my... My dad? Rufus? What? Dad! You're Captain Seagull? I... Ahem. Your shoes, Rufus. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, excuse me, sir. That's a twist. Wow, Dad, this is really a totally radical kick-ass location. And a doormat made of real wombat. Respect. Doormat? Yeah, it's it's hanging right next to the door. That's my Sunday coat. Oh. Listen, Rufus, I'm a busy man. Just tell me what brought you here, and then run along and play again, okay? Hmm. Aren't you at all glad to see me? Yes, of course I'm glad. I'm just very busy right now. If you're a good boy, and let your old man finish his work, then maybe later we can go feed the seagulls. Feed the seagulls? Are you kidding? I have important things to do. Then it won't matter if I haven't got time for you until later, right? Later. Later. You always say that. Hmm. I thought you went to Elysium. <laughs> Elysium? Yes, Elysium, you know. You left me to move to Elysium? You can't tell me you don't remember that. Oh, right. <laughs> yes, I remember. And how? Just what was I thinking? After all, everybody knows that it's impossible to escape Deponia. What a wild and crazy guy I was back then. Always reaching for the stars. Today, I know it's not worth the effort to pursue such crazy ideas. Once you're as old as your dad, I'm sure you'll understand. You can so totally forget that. I'll never be that old. Loser. <laughs> you changed your name? Nothing to do with you, honestly. But still, please don't go around telling everybody you're my son, all right? Dad, how come you're talking to me like that? You may not have noticed, but I am no longer a child. Ah, you're all grown up now. Yeah, ha 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 ha. Like with a house of your own and a steady income. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's, um... I'll take that for a no. You I'm should. I'm a tinkerer. I even had a real workshop in Kuvak. <laughs> You're not talking about that toy workbench I once gave you when you were little. Well, I'm, st I'm still way more grown up than you are. So there. <laughs> oh, Rufus. Don't you even want to know what I've been up to all this time? Oh, please don't tell me you wreaked some sort of havoc again. What was it this time? Did you set something on fire? Did you steal anything? Regularly. Destroy someone else's property? <laughs> well, I mean, you, you've got to see that in context. Hmm. I'm actually about to go to Elysium. <laughs> Good luck. I'm serious. I'm going to Elysium. Yeah, right. Come on, Rufus. I am truly flattered that you want to follow in my footsteps. But do you really have to step into every single pile of poop on the way? Not everyone. For one thing, I would never leave my eight-year-old son behind. Really? So you would take him along? Yes, I would. Well, if he takes after you, I hope you'll remember to bring a little shovel and a plastic bag. I need to go look after my Elysian girlfriend. Yes, of course. What was her name again? Babsy Boo? No, not Babsy Boo. She's a true Elysian. Her name is Goal. Wait a minute. Are you serious? <laughs> now you're impressed, huh? You meet an Elysian and then bring her here? Didn't I teach you anything? No. You were a great parent. You didn't leave her alone, did you? Don't worry, she's in a safe place, down in Gulliver's Tavern at the harbor. Okay, looks like I failed to teach you a few essential facts of life. Really, Dad, let's not go there. I know all about the bees and the flowers, although I may be a little unclear about the concept of pollination. But I'm a real pro when it comes to building hives, if, if, if you know what I mean. You're giving me hives, all right. But let's get back on topic. What I was trying to say is that obviously you never learned how to treat a lady. Have you at least invited her to dinner? Not well, yet. There was this bowl of